some of the just rewards and results of hard, dedicated work which culminated in the Bermaris Band winning the Boothie and Hawks National Brass Band Championship in Section 3 at Wembley in October 1992. When the band arrived back in Bermaris after a seven-hour journey from London, they received an enthusiastic welcome at the Bulkley Arms Hotel in Bermaris. This then is about their welcome home. Silence before the storm.
how many were of you yesterday while I've been just wandering around and every now and then thinking, I wonder how they've gone on. <laughs> but uh, I think in our wildest dreams we hope they do what they've done. But in reality, you know, this was asking for one hell of a big step from them. But they've made it. And formally it is my great pleasure to interest, welcome them all home and congratulate them on their great success. <coughs> uh, I shan't say about an awful lot because we've got one or two other uh, rather more important figures than myself uh, who would like to say something to them. Uh, namely, let me get it right this year, the Mayor and uh, our MP, Mr. Ian Wynne Jones. Sorry? Oh, I, I do apologise. The mayor is accompanied by the deputy mayor. I knew I'd get something wrong tonight. I'm the whole boys' council. I don't know, he's pitching on me. That, 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 that's retribution for promoting it to Lord Mayor last year. Um, but, and also, uh, I, I understand that the management and the Buckley uh, arms would like to say something in addition. Uh, having done that, I want to, I'd just like to say a couple of things. Uh, our special thanks to the Buckley Arms for allowing us to hold this little welcoming get together and for the food that they have provided behind here, which is basically for the band. <laughs> but uh, but uh, after they've uh, had what they want, uh, if anybody else wishes to avail themselves of the food available, they are most welcome to do so, and if they'd like to make some small contribution towards the cost, I'm sure it would be appreciated. And one final thing, I am, I've been asked to make, uh, record a special thanks to uh, a Mr. and Mrs. Scott, who are residents of Buckley Arms in room 26. And they've kindly allowed uh, Dennis and Mulder to invade their privacy and to hang a banner out of the window of their room. Thanks. I'm going to the blazer to take the banner down. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm not saving your time. No, 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 not too late, I hope. No. Thank you. Dear. Congratulations once again on a superb effort. Uh, can we hope you're going to do it again next year? <laughs> gentlemen, he didn't call me Lord Mayor this year, but with the success that you're giving to the town, it doesn't know to have a Lord Mayor. Well, <laughs> now, now, the MP's here, he can <laughs> move it in <laughs> yeah. But in all seriousness, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful evening for the Morris. They say that lightning doesn't strike twice, but my goodness me, it struck twice, and I'm sure it's going to strike three times. If anybody had have said to us 12 months ago when we were here, um, you know, this is going to happen again. We wouldn't have believed it. In fact, I didn't believe it. I arranged to go to a concert tonight in the church and had to make an apology in the church for, to, for going out half time and also make an announcement of what had happened. So they knew there, the hundred people there knew all about it earlier on. Dennis William last night could hardly, when he was talking to my sister, get his words across properly. He was so excited. <laughs> and he rang again this morning because I was out. And when I heard, I just couldn't believe it. My wife had arranged to go to Oxford on a course, and she didn't want to go then because, quite honestly, she was so excited about it. And I think this goes for all the people of Memorial. But whole lot. Now, this whole town is behind you, actually, because of the structure of this band. There's so many elderly people like Fred, and there's so many, <laughs> there's so many young people. And there are so many young people. You promise you wouldn't say that. <laughs> And that structure is fantastic, and I know that the friends of the band as well are doing an awful, an awful lot of work. I was told off last year, by the way, the MP for Anglesey said to me, when I was telling him about this function, he said, well, you didn't tell me about it, and I'm very cross, and that's why he's here tonight, because I had to make sure that he did come, and he is here. The councillors are here, the town clerk's here, the deputy mayor here. Now, I was supposed to be in a concert, so, and they had already prepared their speeches, so I'm going to be very short to allow them to say a few words. But I can honestly tell you, it'll be something I'll be very proud to tell our council, because it goes in our minutes of the success 
It's amazing and fantastic. I can't say it any more than that. Thank you very much for doing it for us. Now then. Can I call upon your Henry Jones, the MP for Anglesey, to say a few words? Because he's been dying to all evening. Yes, <laughs> it's very hard to keep councillors quiet. Yeah. And it's even worse to keep MPs quiet. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to practice tonight because I have to go back in a fortnight's time uh, to, to London. Now I normally have a rule, and that rule has lasted virtually until tonight. And that is, I go nowhere on a Sunday except to church. Absolutely. Or even to uh, Mayor Sunday here in Bimaris. But I think tonight was, a, was a, a good opportunity to break that rule. Because tonight uh, you have brought back to your town a great honour for yourselves and for the whole community. And the success of, of the band is something which, uh, as your Mayor has said, uh, has brought glory to yourselves, to your town, to your community. And I can tell you tonight, as the MP for the whole island, it's also something of which the whole island is proud. Because when you bring success through dedication, through hard work, through commitment, through all the work that is necessary to maintain the band, you bring that success to everybody. Uh, and when I saw the faces of people outside, uh, holding their banners, the anticipation of waiting for the band to come back, it was, there's only one word, electric. It was absolutely electric. And as soon as I walked into Pomaris, I knew something was, up, was on tonight. Now, I'm not going to speak for very long because I know that people want to say, uh, well done to you. All I want to say, finally, as your mayor, is well done, great success. You've brought yourselves pride, you brought your town and your island pride. I come tonight to salute you on behalf of the people of Anglesey. Well done all of you and may your success continue. She's thought she got away with it, the deputy, she's hiding here actually, but she's, she was prepared to do the job because I wasn't here. So Angela, go on, whack it. Right, well actually your mayor's lying to you because I haven't prepared a speech, but I just wanted to say from the heart that I'm really proud of everything that you've done. I think it's brilliant that you won last year, but to do it for a second time is absolutely amazing. And to leave aside the elderly, I think what the band does for the young in the town is brilliant. And I know it's really appreciated and you've done us all proud, so thank you.
Canol, and where the Embrace Trimian Seric Ball or Hamgan Gan Hill, Robert and Ann Barbara Dorskan, Cor Orpheus Glasgow. And Tarian Gumaris, a little even, man and over one new, but where the Darn, Submian Stephen, Hebit or Darn, Lisho, a Ganver in Kalinka or Russia.
You'll never walk alone, of course. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this tribute to our wonderful band.